This is me, a parent, a dad. Whereas that is also me, that guy is a runner. How does this guy find time to go running when he also has to be this guy? In this video, we're simply gonna talk about the challenges I face as a runner who also is a parent and how to get around. I'd say probably the biggest challenge we face is time. At what point do you manage your house, be a husband or wife, or whatever you are, make sure the kids are ready for school, breakfast, go to work full time, come back, do bedtime routines, oh, dinner before that, and then still have time for yourself. Number one challenge for me definitely has to be time. to get your kids into running. Step one, you don't, you don't. You gotta let the kids live their lives, you know? You gotta let them be free with their lives. If they want to build Lego, you gotta let them build Lego. If they want to make a fireplace, you let them make a fireplace. If they want to run into dirty waters that do not look clean for their personal hygiene and mental health, you gotta let them be free. Unless it's poisonous, then uh, you got to do some proper parenting. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> yeah. Second, energy. So you've done the routine, you've been to work, school runs, all that kind of stuff. And you still need to find energy to actually do running. And you know that takes a lot of energy. So balancing that can be very tough and finding the energy to do workouts, long runs, your easy run or whatever it is, and still find time to still be a husband, wife, fiance, whoever you are, as well as a parent, that's a tough act to balance. The third challenge, you see these two things here, uh, this thing here and this thing over there, yeah. Now these things magnify every kind of emotion that you feel. If you feel happy in life, these things make you the happiest person ever was. On the flip side though, same with stress. If you feel stressed, these things here make you feel less stressed. So on top of limited time, limited energy, and the stress of being a parent, running sometimes just doesn't feel like one of those things you should be doing. But let's also talk about how to get around this stuff. The first solution, I admit, easy say done done, but the children come first. Now I say this fully admitting, I don't always do a good job in that area, but here's how I make it work. Either before they wake up, not so much in winter, I would go for a run, get my son up ready for school, school run, get to work, or if your job allows a run at lunchtime, school run, dinner happens, they go to bed, or a run at that time. If you have a partner or someone who can support you, can look after the kids while you do the run, even better. But I do recognize that some parents are single parents and therefore it can be tough. But trying to find time for your run around the day pattern of your children, because children will always come first. Oh, are you gonna it's, cook it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, on this fire here? Yeah. Okay, it's it's it gonna be very hot. It's gonna be very hot. Yeah, right for a very warm for um for the table. Where's your table? There. That's your cooking table. Yes. That's table. What, what else are you cooking? Um, pasta soup. Pasta soup. Yeah, and cheese and bread and ham okay. and cheese. Yeah, I gonna get more cash. There's more cash. There's more cash. Where are you? In here. Cash. Cash, where are you? Second thing I find works very well, involve your kids. Whatever it is you've got a passion for doing, whether it's running, try and see if the kids are old enough, if they can come with you. So there are times I go running with my son 
It's very rare, but sometimes he will want to. I try and bribe him by getting him shoes, new shoes when he comes running, and he get it going. So like now, one of my passions is YouTubing and video creation. I'm actually out here in the woods, and I get to kill two birds with one stone. I'm out here playing, and we're building a house, but at the same time, doing this video. Involve the kids, believe me, they love it. And you will actually see, you're teaching them life skills that are transferable in so many different areas. Lastly, you also matter. Now that's probably the easiest tip I can give you. Now I know you've got responsibilities. You may have a full-time job. You're a dad, you're a husband, a wife, whatever it is. But please remember that you also matter. You are also a priority in all that craziness. I heard a saying, an empty jug cannot fill a cup. So it's important that you're balancing yourself too. You're doing the running you want to do. You're doing all the hobbies, the crafts, whatever it is that you feel like getting into because that's actually going to give your family a better person. And I have to say though, it's a tough one to manage, but if you can get it done right, I'm telling you, everyone else around you will appreciate the person you are. Okay, so the moral of the story here is, if you're a family person, you're a parent, the family and the children will always come first. However, recognize that you also need to be a priority on that list because you also matter. Because if you don't get that third bit done right, you can't really do the other parts. You find yourself being stressed out, excess energy, snapping at people. Find a way that you can balance out the things you love doing as well as being this family member you will be in a privileged position if those two things can come together look if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and check out the new outro head to the clouds feet on the ground i'll see you on the next one all right you donuts let's build this let's build this tree house